Welcome back to Coffee with Carrie Lynn and another installment of I Buy and Try So You Don't Have To. I have a bit of a different shtick than everybody else on the internet, ladies. What I do is I take my old man's money and I go shopping. And I am shopping everywhere. I'm shopping on the internet. I'm shopping at the drugstore. I'm shopping on the big counters. I am shopping our local small businesses that sell Glam Care product from other small businesses, all that natural glam care. I'm doing all that too. I bring everything home. I unpackage it. So you're not going to see an unboxing. Sorry. If that's what you like, this ain't happening here. Then I take the product and I test it for 14 days under real world conditions. And when I say real world conditions, I mean real world conditions. We run a homestead. So I have worn all these Glam Care products out in the barn with the animals. I have chopped wood with them on. I have cooked over a wood cook stove with them on. I have run the back 26, all my little trails out back there with products on. We just really put this stuff to the test. I wear it in hot weather. I wear it in cool weather. I wear it in cold weather. Then here I come on here and I let you know if it's a product worth buying or if it's shit, because the last thing we want is to buy a product that's absolute shit. You don't want to look like shit this holiday season. This, you don't want to look like this. We're getting ready to go to the salon today. So we have an issue with the hair. I'm 52 years old, going to be 53. I want to go gray gracefully and my hair is not cooperating. So I'm going to the hair guru so that she can turn me into a beautiful silver fox. And I'm always doing my chores today. I figured... What the heck? I really can't put on a heavy run of makeup, you know, today because we got to go do the hair thing, get it all silvered out. And here we are after a brief intermission. We live on a working homestead. So people come, people go. People need to cook lunch so they don't die of starvation. And my office happens to be in the corner of my kitchen. Glamorous life of the YouTuber, isn't it? Um, yes, I am relegated to the corner of my kitchen and sometimes shared space can be pretty darn interesting. They're trying to get food. I'm trying to finish a video. It's pandemonium. Pandemonium on the homestead. Ladies, today we are going to be talking about lip glosses because the holiday season is upon us and we want to look sexy. We want to have those nice, shiny, sparkly, adorable lips. Maybe we just want a bunch of cool stocking stuffers for our daughters, or maybe you're looking for a stocking stuffer for your wife. These are great purchases. Everything today is going to be under $10, all found at the Walmart. And uh, some I liked and some I didn't. So let's get to the reviews. The first lip gloss I'm going to talk about is the Elf Plumping Lip Gloss. I have to disclose, I love e.l.f. products. If you are over 50 and you are trying to do the no makeup makeup look, e.l.f. products are amazing. I don't know what they're doing to their products, but nothing settles into your fine lines and creases. Your little, your little smile lines, nothing settles in there. As a woman over 50, I do not use foundation. I absolutely try to avoid foundation because I have yet to find a company that after a few hours, that foundation isn't making me look saggy. It's not caking up on me. So I just absolutely do not wear foundation. I do not wear BB cream. Uh, some people do. Some women over 50 like it. I don't. I like bronzer and blush. And e.l.f. seems to do a really, really good job. So I do love e.l.f. products. Although I did not love the e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. The tag says internet price $4.50. I got it at the local closeout store, Martin's. I got it for 60% off of the sticker price, so I paid no money for it. And I'm pretty pleased I didn't pay any money for it. But you can find this exact lip gloss at Walmart for seven and change. It's under $8. I have biases. I don't like plumping lip glosses. I don't even use chapstick that has peppermint in it. I don't like the burny tingly thing on my lips. It's just a personal thing with me. I don't like it. But I did give Elf an honest shot and I wore it about five times. I went to put it on the sixth time and I just couldn't do it. What was happening was it burns. It burns. You got the burn on this one. And when I take it off, my lips are really red underneath the gloss. So I just, it's just, it's not my thing. It's got a little bit of a tack, but what I did love about it is 
the color. So if you like the plumping lip glosses, if you like that burny tingly feel, um, I don't think they did anything for my lips. I don't think it, it plumped my lips at all, but some people swear by them. Elf really is a good product. I loved the color. It was a little slightly tacky, but I did love the color and I did like the wear. It lasted. It, it was on there quite a bit for, for it lasted through, um, eating a little bit and drinking a little bit. It did have some lasting wear on there, but I just don't like the, the, uh, plumpy thing. So I went and searched for a color dupe and what I found is not exactly a color dupe you can see but I found the wet and wild mega slicks lip glosses and I found it in snuggle sesh and it was the closest that I could get it to the peach bellini color that I absolutely loved so there are things I liked about this one and things I didn't like about this one mainly I love the color it's got a good texture it does have a weird smell. I don't know. Why, why are they making lip glosses with weird smells these days? I don't know. When I was a kid, it was either fruity scented or no scent at all. But everybody's got everything's got this weird little smell to it. So I'm not sure why they're doing this and putting this crazy smell in. But it, I don't like it. I don't care for the smell. But we're going to put it on. And it does... It does do a nice job and I do like the color and I wear this often and it is under $3. So you can either burn your lips off for almost $8 or get something very, very similar in color contrast. And I'm not putting this on to show you guys cause I'm not burning my lips off. Um, even though it's a little bit darker, it still looks good. It doesn't have a lot of tack. But it does have an odor that I, I just, I don't know, maybe maybe my nose is ultra sensitive to stuff. I'm not sure. But it has an odor. So we're going to take this off. Also in my search to color dupe the, um, the e.l.f. Peach Bellini color, I ran across a couple other really cool lip glosses. The first lip gloss is the expensive one from Alme. The goddess gloss. And of course I got it because it's goddess gloss. So that had to be purchased. And let's get the glasses so I can so I can check out the color. When you get an old, you need these things. You need glasses and things like that. So the Alme Goddess Gloss, what is your color name? Uh, oh, there you are. Way at the bottom in the dang tiniest print. This is angelic, <laughs> which some days I am and some days I'm not. It just depends. Now, uh, this is a good gloss. This is under $9. It's eight and change. You can get it at your local Walmart. And I th think I saw at uh, Walgreens that you could get this as well. What I don't like about it is the tack. Look at that. It's really sticky. See how sticky that is? Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try again. Really sticky. So I didn't like that because I don't like to feel the, that tacky when you're talking, you just want to talk and your lips want to feel natural, but you, you're afraid that the lip gloss is like coming and sealing your mouth together like glue and coming apart. So you got these little gloss strands. I didn't do the gloss strands, but it is tacky. What I did like about it is the color. I thought the color was amazing. It's got an opalescent, shimmery, really um, nice, heavy gloss tint to your lips. They do not, um, they do not shy on the tint at all. Again, it has a weird freaking smell to it. I don't know. Cover girl, cover girl lip glosses do not have a weird smell to them. They have a fruity smell. They have no smell at all, but there's no weird smell to quite a few lip glosses that I do try. But for some reason, 
Almay has got a weird smell. I like Almay makeup too um, because I wear contacts. So it's just, I like wearing Almay on my eyes. Um, when I get sick of the, um, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, flake. When you wear contacts, it's very important that your mascara doesn't flake. And a lot of a lot of companies, even the extended wear, the L'Oreal's, it does flake after five and six hours. But Alme has never let me down. I have never had flaky mascara from them, and it's contact lens compatible. So we're gonna take this off, and of course, this is almost nine dollars. I had to go find something a little cheaper, something a little more affordable. And once again, I ended up with Wet n Wild, the Mega Slicks. And I'm going to show you, this is, the Mega Slicks is darker. It's darker, but it's just as pretty as the Alme. And this color is, let's get these eyeballs down again because we're old. This color is Crushed Diamonds. I have so much lip gloss, I can't remember the name of half of them. So this is the Crushed Diamonds. I liked this. Again, you got stick and tack. I think you get a lot of that hang on tack because they put like glitters or micas in there or something that they have to use a, a super thick base. And we put it on, and it is so comparable to the Alme. This does not have a weird smell. It has a light vanilla scent to it, but it don't have that weird chemical smell to it. So I absolutely do love this particular Wet n Wild, and I wear this more than I wear this out. They're both as beautiful, and I want to feel real... Hi on the hog, I'll put my Alme on. But for my daily driving, I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Slicks. They're under $3. You can find them everywhere. You can find them at Walgreens. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them anywhere. All the drugstores generally carry your Wet n Wild for cheap. So you can look really cute for really cheap this holiday season. So what do we think overall for all these products? Because of the burn thing, I think this is shit. The e.l.f. is shit because it burns my lips. And it's a bias. If you like your burny, plumpy, lippy thing, it is well worth the money. For me, it is not worth the money. I do like the Alme. I don't like the smell, but I do like the Alme. And it's, uh, it makes me feel pretty classy. I love the color. I love the, the coverage. I just, I don't like the smell and I don't like the fact that it's got a little tack to it, but that's just my personal thing. So if you got the nine bucks, go buy the Alme Goddess Gloss. This is in Angelic and Wet n Wild Mega Slicks. If you get the Struggle Sash, it going to smell. I don't like the smell of it. I like the color of it. These are under $3, and if you want a very comparable dupe to the Alme, get the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks in Crushed Diamonds, and this one does not have a weird chemical smell. It smells slightly like vanilla, and that's the one I'm wearing now. Ladies, beautiful creatures of the world, I hope you enjoyed this wonderful lip gloss review. Thanks for joining me, and carpe diem because no one promised you a tomorrow.